Sam Bankman Fried is an American cryptocurrency entrepreneur and former CEO of FTX, one of the world's largest crypto firms, which collapsed in November 2022 due to insolvency problems with Alameda Research, the FTX sister firm co-founded by Bankman Fried and Tara McCauley. He was born in the USA in California to two Stanford Law School professors on March 6, 1992. He grew up in the upper, upper middle class, and he has a high-profile education, attending high school at a private school called Crystal Springs Upland School in Hillsborough, California, and the Canada-USA Math Camp, which is a summer program for mathematically talented high school students. He graduated in physics and mathematics from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 2014. Bankman Fried started his career in 2013 as an intern at Jane Street Capital, a proprietary trading firm specializing in international exchange traded funds, where he acquired his first work experience. He went to work full-time at Jane Street after graduating from MIT. In November 2017, he co-founded quantitative trading firm Alameda Research with Tara McCauley from the Center for Effective Altruism, where he briefly worked as development director. In April 2019, Bankman Fried founded the cryptocurrency exchange FTX, which started operating the following month. By 2021, he ranked third in the Cointelegraph Top 100 Personalities of the Cryptocurrency Space, and in 2022, he took the top spot. Bankman Fried played a prominent role in the cryptocurrency industry. And before the FTX collapse, he was reported to have a net worth of $26.5 billion, ranking him the 41st richest American in the Forbes 400 and the 60th richest person in the world by the world's billionaires. In May 2022, when FTX was still one of the world's largest crypto platforms, Bankman Fried purchased a 7.6% stake in brokerage firm Robinhood. His shares became the object of contention after FTX collapsed on November 11, 2022. He became known to a broader audience during the collapse of FTX, as he is alleged to have committed one of America's most significant financial frauds, with his net worth falling to roughly $16 billion, and then nearly zero in just one week. There are many events that marked his turbulent career and life in cryptocurrency, but in this video, I'm going to talk about the most significant ones which aided the billionaire's fall from grace in the blink of an eye. Starting from Alameda Research, Bankman Fried and Macaulay were joined by Caroline Ellison at the launch of Alameda Research. Ellison knew Bankman Fried from working together at Jane Street and the Center for Effective Altruism. She became CEO of the company alongside American business executive Sam Trabucco, who stepped down from the role in August 2022, which was right before the storm hit the cryptocurrency firm. Alameda made millions of dollars daily, actively trading cryptocurrency among various international markets. But the funny thing is that they claimed they were all doing it for altruism and the excitement of earning to give. Caroline the CEO and Bankman Fried were in a relationship allegedly, although modern-day Robin Hood Samuel Bankman Fried confirmed it had only been for a brief period. Now let's go to the cryptocurrency exchange FTX, the Bahamas-based FTX, which was co-founded with cryptocurrency billionaire Gary Wang and launched in the spring of 2019. It became prominent during the COVID-19 pandemic, despite the significant turbulence in financial markets, including crypto. In 2020, the crypto trading company acquired Blockfolio, a cryptocurrency exchange and platform for a pretty $150 million. They went on a series of acquisitions in crypto, including the failed crypto lending platform Voyager and derivatives trading platform LedgerX. It was also on the verge of acquiring crypto exchange BlockFi and lending firm Celsius, which were in troubled waters amid a crypto liquidity crunch in 2022. In the meantime, FTX was expanding, and Bankman Fried appeared to be in a strong position despite the turmoil in cryptocurrency markets. His peak net worth of $26.5 billion was reportedly valued in FTX's native FTX token, or FTT, sparking the first allegations that his tokens were used as collateral on several occasions. On November 2, 2022, it was reported that most of the cash held by FTX was in the form of its cryptocurrency, FTT, implying that it could be easily manipulated due to its centrally controlled supply and that it had been illegitimately used as collateral. The fall of FTX happened all pretty quick, and here is a summary of how it all went down. On the 2nd of November, 2022, Alameda releases its financial statements. Five days later, on the 7th, Bankman Fried tweets that assets are fine, 
On the 9th of November, FTX files for bankruptcy. How? We thought the assets were fine. Two days later, on the 11 of November, 2022, Bankman Fried resigns as CEO of FTX and it is announced to the public. Binance decides to back out of the FTX deal. A month later, on the 12th of December, Samuel Bankman Fried is arrested in the Bahamas. So that's the summary now. Let's get into the nitty gritty and do a small rewind and get into the details of the fall. The news severely impacted the entire cryptocurrency market in only a few days, particularly after Binance CEO Cheng Peng Zhao announced his intention to sell all FTT holdings, tanking the price of the FTX token by around 80%. When the liquidity crisis started due to the collapse of FTT, Cheng Peng Zhao issued a letter of intent to buy FTX. See what he did there. Chang Peng Zhao single-handedly kinda maybe caused the collapse of FTX, then wanted to swoop in and buy it. Wolves, everywhere. However, after reviewing the exchange's financials, which revealed a financial hole of $6 billion, he walked away from the deal. In the meantime, the US Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, were already investigating Alameda Research and FTX US, among other cryptocurrency firms over insider trading claims. As no investors were willing to save FTX, which required as much as $9.4 billion in funds to be rescued, Bankman Fried had no choice but to file for bankruptcy and resign as CEO on the 11th of November, 2022. Alameda Research and more than 130 associated legal entities met the same fate. Bankman Fried was replaced as CEO of FTX by John Ray notorious for his role in the bankruptcy and restructuring of the American energy company Enron. On November 12th, blockchain observers spotted something off. It was the movement of hundreds of millions of dollars from FTX, with customer funds moved to other crypto wallets and going missing. The same day observers saw customer funds suspiciously leave the exchange, Bankman Fried was reported to have illegally taken clients' money for Alameda Research without publicly disclosing it. Hmm. Anonymous sources also revealed to the Wall Street Journal that Alameda Research's CEO, Caroline Ellison, had confirmed that FTX had used customers' money to help Alameda meet its liabilities. But during all this unholy business, where is Bankman Fried and what's happening with him? Well, on November 30th, 2022, in an interview with the New York Times, Bankman Fried said he was left with about $100,000 in his bank account. The 30-year-old, once one of the wealthiest entrepreneurs in the world and one of the largest U.S. political donors, was in ruins by the end of 2022 as significant legal actions loomed. On December 12, 2022, Bankman Fried was arrested at his Bahamas penthouse by the Royal Bahamas Police Force in anticipation of his expected extradition to the U.S. to face trial. He was charged by the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York with wire fraud, wire fraud conspiracy, securities fraud, security fraud conspiracy, money laundering and other charges, and faces a maximum of 110 years in prison if convicted on all counts. After spending 10 days at Nassau Fox Hill Prison in the Bahamas, Bankman Fried agreed to his extradition from the Caribbean island to the U.S. to face charges. On the 22nd of December, a few days before Christmas, a federal judge decided to release him from custody with a $250 million bond payment. Yes, you heard that right. $250 million bond, the largest in the history of American criminal proceedings. Among his bail conditions were that he was to move in with mommy and daddy back in California. The new year on January 3, 2023 started with Bankman Fried plead not guilty to fraud and other charges, claiming that mismanagement of the exchange and not fraud caused the collapse of the business. Four additional criminal charges were then added against him in February, based on over 300 illegal political donations a majority of them going to the Democratic Party. In March, the court raised allegations that he had arranged the transfer of at least $40 million in cryptocurrency to Chinese government officials to unfreeze accounts belonging to Alameda Research. Ellison and Wang are the other Alameda and FTX executives who were charged in connection with FTX's multi-billion dollar collapse. Unlike Bankman Fried, they pled guilty to several fraud charges and cooperated with the investigation. Next concerns were raised about the future of approximately 55 million Robinhood shares, reportedly purchased by FTX using a loan from Alameda. Meanwhile, Bankman Fried tried to access these shares to cover legal costs, 
while Robinhood announced its intent to repurchase them. Then a pivotal moment that sent shockwaves through the cryptocurrency world. Bankman Fried faced the harsh reality of Lady Justice on November 2nd, 2023, when he was found guilty by a 12-member jury in a Manhattan federal court following a month-long trial that exposed one of the largest financial frauds in history. He was convicted on all seven counts, including charges of fraud and conspiracy, after prosecutors convincingly argued that his insatiable greed led him to pilfer a staggering $8 billion from the exchange's unsuspecting users. This verdict not only marked the downfall of a prominent figure, but also served as a stark reminder of the challenges and risks that the crypto landscape have. Right now, the rapid evolution of digital currencies, blockchain technology, and DeFi platforms continues to reshape the financial landscape, offering unprecedented opportunities, which simultaneously are raising concerns about security, regulation, and ethical conduct. The cryptocurrency playing field is ever-evolving, and investors, developers, and enthusiasts alike remained vigilant, navigating the complexities of the crypto market while anticipating a future where innovative technologies and responsible practices would converge to shape a more secure and inclusive financial world. Sam Bankman-Fried is currently detained at the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center and faces up to 110 years in prison. He will be sentenced on March 28, 2024. The 31-year-old's life has in the last few years been close to an interesting Hollywood movie, from the top of the world to now the bottom of the totem pole. Tiffany Fong, a cryptocurrency influencer, recently released a picture of Bankman Fried in prison. The picture was allegedly taken on the 17th of December, 2023. Tell me down below how you feel about investing in cryptocurrency. Do you trust it or do you think it is very easy for unscrupulous businessmen like Sam Bankman Fried to take advantage of making you lose out on your investment. Also remember to like and subscribe to the channel. This has been Luna Saul for Techie and Money. I'll see you in the next video.